hey what's going on guys let's do this problem right here this question is asking consider two walls of a house that are identical except that one is made of a 10 centimeter thick wood while the other one is made of 25 centimeter thick brick through which wall will the house lose more heat in the winter so here we have the thermal conductivity provided that's k wood and k brick this is related to Q conduction, right? So here we are going to use Q conduction equation. Q dot conduction that is equal to minus Ka delta T over L. And this one, this equation can be written in two, two different ways. If you put Ka T2 minus T1 over L, you have to put a negative sign. If you put Ka T1 minus T2 over L, you can eliminate the negative sign because this minus T1 minus minus cancels and this will become minus. And that way everything will become easier. If we keep, if we keep this equation positive, that makes the calculation, I mean comparison easier. So we don't have to worry about anything, right? So let's take this equation and find the values. So here we are going to have Q conduction. So first, uh, let's go ahead and calculate for wood. So Q, Q conduction for wood. That's going to be equal to, so I'm taking this one, Ka T1 minus T2 over L. K value is given by 0 0.16 times the area. T1, T2, T1, actually this was T1 minus T2, right? So T1 minus T2 over the length. Length of the wood is given by 10 centimeter, that is same as 0 0.1 meter. And if you divide this one by this one, this is going to be equal to 1.6 A T1 minus T2. So this is going to be the conductivity equation for wood. And let's create the equation for brick right so now let's go ahead and create the equation for brick q brick conduction dot is going to be equal to k a again k a t1 minus t2 over l and we know the conductivity that is thermal conductivity that is 0 0.72 watts per meter kelvin so let's let's avoid the units for now a times T1 minus T2 over the length of this brick is given by 25 centimeters. That's the same as 0 0.25 meter. And if you simplify this one, that's going to give you 2.88 A times T1 minus T2. And if you want, now we are, we are trying to compare which the heat transfer through which would be higher. And here the area for both of them are same. Temperature 1, temperature 2, same. So it so it's just depends on the value we get right here. So this uh, heat conductivity is depend on the K value, thermal conductivity, and the L length of this material. So here we have to compare these two numbers, 1.6 and 2.88. And this is definitely higher than this one, right? Brick of brick is higher than this one. Therefore, we can conclude that heat, uh, house lose more heat in winter through brick of, brick of, through the thick brick. So that's going to be the final conclusion. So let's uh, write this one in words, maybe Q conductivity will be greater in conductivity brick will be greater than Q conductivity wood. So that's going to be the final conclusion for this question. I hope you guys find this video helpful. See you next time.